rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. Symphony Orchestra and Concert Choir performing When You Believe by Stephen Swartz. ceremony of Hercules High School. The following, will be the following will be giving the same greeting in various languages. Sasriya Kal, my name is Shivani Gopal. Tadasari and the teachers, they staff Wolo Hercules High School graduation 2011 to Swagathe. So, see your call. Tadja Hao, Huan Ying Li, Chan Jia Hercules Da Zong, Er Ling Yi Yi Nian, Bi Ye Bian Li. ไปกันโอ้ดีกว่ายีเดียงยัดยัดยัดปัดยีดินไหนโตเจ๊ไม่สมบูรณ์สิงห์ลาดสมัยเรียนที่2011กระทำสุดท้ายสิ่งที่2
translation. Bonjour, en nom de la classe de Félicitations de 2011. La faculté, le personnel et tous les étudiants, bienvenue à la cérémonie de graduation 2011 pour Hercules École Secondaire. Hola, de parte de toda la facultad, los maestros y todos los estudiantes, le quiero dar la bienvenida a la ceremonia del 2011 de la Escuela Hercules High School. Gracias. Hi, I'm Lauren. I'm going to be speaking Cambodian. Shamriyap Sua, som swa gom nyat nyat ting aknia, gon sa chap ka sak sach nam, pi pon dat moi, na kait Hercules, som akun. Hercules High School. I'll be speaking in Zach. <laughs> good evening, good evening. For those of you who've been to our graduations in the past, you might recall the weather's a little different, isn't it? Isn't this nice? Yes. I'm introducing some special guests here, but first I want to welcome parents, friends, loved ones, our staff, the graduates, this is a great evening of celebration. Up on the stage, joining us are from the district, Superintendent Dr. Bruce Harder, Executive Director Mr. Vince Ray, and over there, Assistant Superintendent Wendell Greer. Representing the city of Hercules, Mayor Joanne Ward. I also want to mention three guests who used to be a vital part of our school. Mr. Uh, both Richardson brothers are here. And also former math teacher, Mr. Ross. Also representing the district is our next speaker, school board member, Tony Thurman. I want to speak to Zach too, or maybe Richardson after that uh, ovation that they received. Well, congratulations class of 2011. On behalf of the board of our school district, it is a pleasure to bring greetings to you as you mark this great accomplishment. What you've achieved makes our district even better. And tonight, we salute everyone who has had a hand in making this important occasion take place, especially those who've worked directly with you, Principal Zach and all the faculty and the staff. We salute your families, your parents, your loved ones, your friends, and all those who've helped you as you sacrifice. And most importantly, we salute you for putting in the work and for choosing to show up to make today happen. And for that, we say congratulations to you. Are you ready to celebrate? Let me hear you say yeah. Are you ready to party on your accomplishment? Let me hear you say oh yeah. 
We know you're ready to celebrate and mark this great occasion and do that. And after that, we want you to remember that this marks the beginning of a very successful and long journey for you that will be your life. And that whatever you do going forward, be the best that you can be in doing that. Represent Titan Spirit in whatever it is that you choose to do from this point forward. Whether that's attending college, serving in the military, what you do in your career, what you do with your family. Be the best that you can be. Always reach to learn more and always look for an opportunity to serve others. And know that whatever you do and wherever you go, we in the West Contra Costa Unified School District are here to support you. So congratulations, class of 2011. I'd now like to introduce our first student speaker, our valedictorian, Henry Hung. family, friends, teachers, staff members, and my fellow graduates of the class of 2011. <laughs> fellow graduates, today is the day that we partake in something we thought would never happen, our high school graduation. Through all the years in high school, middle school, and elementary school, we have had many memories and experiences, from the emotional to the downright hilarious. But from this day on, we will all go on separate paths, paths that could be both well laid out and unknown. More, to, more importantly, is that today marks an important transition for us, leaving high school, from childhood to adulthood. However, all of the memories we have shared together, the ones we had many years ago, the ones that happened this morning, the ones we want to remember forever, and even the ones that we want to forget have shaped us into who we are now. We will take all the memories, knowledge, and experiences we had during these years together and make ourselves better people. People who achieve goals we can have only dreamt of people who will change the world. Look around you. Some of these, some of these faces you might not see again, but others you will see tonight, tomorrow, and even the next day too. But now look closer and know that the next time you look at them, they will both be the same and different. We will all get together in the future and look and greet each other and think, wow, you've changed so much to some students and, wow, you're still the same to others. What you definitely will get, however, is a flood of memories. You will remember the times you laughed with them. You will remember the times you cried with them. But inherently, both you and your peers will have changed. Now look at yourself. At this moment, you may not be the person who you ultimately want to be, but do not fret. That is what the future is for. Our learning did not start with school and cer certainly will not end today. For many of you, you will be living in an unfamiliar place with new people. For others, home will still be home. Regardless of what you will do after today, Remember this, you are yourself and not anyone else. When I say this, I do not mean that you should not change. What I do mean is that you are a unique person with your own special talents and maybe even more importantly, flaws. But do not let your flaws and mistakes discourage you. For these and your uniquenesses are what makes you 
you, the special person we all know and love. But you will change. Change to someone who will make the world better, but we will still love you. Change to a person who you want to be. The change started here with these people, but it does not end today. Thank you and congratulations. And now a special performance by Nicole Bonifacio and Leah Rachel Bokilan singing It's So Hard to Say Goodbye to Yesterday. our next student speaker, our salutatorian, Ilongo Jothamari Gason. Hello and good evening. I'm Ilongo Jothamari Gason, your salutatorian, and I'd like to begin by congratulating the class of 2011 for their achievement. As well as thank everyone else in the audience here who came to recognize our accomplishments. As the rest of the class knows, these past four years of high school have required significant effort to make it through. And sometimes it's been devastating. But, real, but it has really been worth it for all that we have learned and for all the fun times that are part of high school as well. I've made many valuable friendships, for which I'm very thankful, and the times I've spent with my friends are very special memories to me that I hope to never forget. I'm also thankful to the many great teachers here at Hercules who really care about their students and are always willing to help us out. I've learned a lot from them, of academics, but even about life in general too. I emerged from high school as a different person than I was four years ago because of the experiences I have shared with my peers and teachers at this school, for which I am very grateful. And the people I've met here make me proud to call myself a graduate of Hercules High School. And though I'm sad because I'll miss all of those that I've met here, I'm still positive about the future because I feel that all the knowledge and experiences we have gained here have prepared us for our future as we go our separate ways next year. And as we go forth on these different paths, be dedicated in what you do, and remember what we have learned here together. I wish everyone good luck. Thank you. And I would like to invite our speaker at large, Derek Wallace. begin there's been a lot of applause for the class but I would like the class to do something really really quick I want the class to stand up for a second now there there are a lot of you who can look to people in your lives and say that if you had not been there I would not be here so I want you to turn around and look at your families and give them an applause for pushing you to this very point in your life because you would not be here without them that made it possible for you to be here can I get an amen Alright, alright. I want to give a special acknowledgement to the Richardsons, 
especially, especially you, Ronald, for following me for two years, from eighth grade to ninth grade. You still impact me today. Thank you. To Miss Heddington over there, I see you right there. I love you, Miss Heddington. To Miss Turner and Mr. McAdams in his absence. Amen. All right. All right. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. All right. All right. All right. I would like to start off with a collective thank you. I would like to thank our families who pushed us and encouraged us when we felt as though we could not bear to make it to the end of our journey. It is because of you that we are here. Well, class, we have finally made it to the day that we have been waiting so very long. Since freshman year, we have been aiming to sit on this field amongst our friends, family, and peers to accept our rite of passage into the real world. To say that I am grateful for each and every one of you would be an extreme understatement. We have memories that we will hold for a lifetime. Like when Mr. Zach nearly killed us all when he sang at the African American Assembly freshman year. <laughs> or when as sophomores, we anxiously watched as America elected its very first African American president. But whatever the occasion was, we knew that we could come to school the very next day and talk about whatever it was on our mind. I will miss each of you equally. Yeah. Well, what is there to say about the class of 2011? I ask this question because I realize that there are no adjectives to explain greatness. I realize that there are no words to summarize success. And I realize that there is no way to encompass intellect. You see, the class of 2011 has power like none other. That's right, that's right. We have the power to truly make the difference. Because you see, it is so very simple to make a difference. We are born to make a difference. Teachers every day make a difference in the lives of their young students. Doctors, lawyers, all very respectable, aim every day to make a difference. But it takes something greater than know-how and a degree and determination to make the difference. I tell you this evening, it takes something implanted, nurtured, and harvested by God to make the difference. Understand, understand that when we leave this campus, we will be handed the torch to make the difference. We will be expected to make the difference. How then are we going to make this happen? Look at your neighbor and say, how? Say, how are we going to make this happen? Only when we realize that there is nothing in this world that can keep us from our destiny. When we understand that there are no impossibilities, but there are only opportunities, then can we walk into a true understanding of our purpose, which is to make the difference in the world. Stay with me, please. <laughs> understand that on, I remember on election night, 2008, Barack Obama stated that there would be an obstacles in the years to come, and change would not come overnight. This class is true for us today. No, we won't be able to walk off this campus today and immediately be successful. No, we won't be able to walk right through college. Understand that this is going to be a hard journey. But because it has been bestowed upon you to make the difference in the world, then there are no obstacles high enough to keep you from your destiny. There is no door that can stay closed in your face because you have the key to unlock every closed door that may be in front of you. I believe, I believe James Brown said it best when he said, I don't have to wait for opportunity to knock. Just give me the key and I'll go in to get it myself. That is the guts, the boldness, the courage that we will need in the, com in the coming years to break down whatever barriers may stand in our ways. 
If you want to be CEO, get in the elevator and go to the top floor. If you want to start your own fashion line, get a pair of scissors and some fabric and start sewing. Whatever it may be that you want to accomplish in this life, there is nothing that can stand in your way because greatness, purpose, power to change the world is on your life. Therefore, use your life as a stepping stone into the future. Take whatever hardships you face and use them as catalysts to propel you into your destiny. I don't want to sound cliche and I don't want to sugarcoat reality, but understand that I want to be real. I want to let you know that there will be times in life when you feel as though you're going to give up. There will be times in life where you feel as though you can do no more and you are going absolutely nowhere and you feel completely alone. But when you feel hope is gone, when you feel determination is gone, when you feel that faith is gone, and when you feel ultimately that joy is gone, I want you to do something. Look deep within yourself, not just into your heart, not just into your soul, but beyond that. Look so deep into yourself that you have to use a magnifying glass. And when you get so deep that you can't quite go any deeper, do something else. Reach within yourself. And reach so deep that you have to use both arms. And when you get so deep and you can't go any further, that is where you need to be. Because it is at the very core of yourself, the very root of your being, and the deepest depth of your existence where greatness, hope, determination, and the seed that can change the world lies. I, and when you find that seed, plant it and remember this. I am going, I am the class of 2011 and I will make the difference. Stay strong, live long, and continue to grow. God bless you. So uh, I want to start with uh, just a thank you. The thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak to you all today on your graduation. Uh, I will forever be indebted to you all for your contributions to our school. Uh, your fingerprints are and will forever be etched on the minds and hearts of the staff here at Hercules High School. From my classroom, I have watched many of you grow from little kids to the young adults that I see before me. I've been able to open doors of possibility to most of you, some of you, one or two, maybe. Debbie. <laughs> However, you all have opened my eyes to so many wonderful possibilities, and I thank you for that as well. You never cease to impress me with your abilities whether it was in my classroom, on the schoolyard, on a sports field, on the open mic night stage, playing at the last music festival, whether you were playing, uh, or sorry, if you were writing an article in the school newspaper, or snapping that perfect shot for the yearbook, or if you were standing up and making an, ar making an argument in the courtroom. You always showed me something that you could be proud of, and you should all be proud of yourselves on this day, for today your efforts have paid dividends. You have reached a milestone in your journey. I urge you to view this as a great accomplishment. However, it is not a stopping point. The, re the real tests are yet to come. As you leave the friendly confines of Hercules High School and venture into the world to explore your possibilities, endless possibilities. It was Henry David Thoreau that said, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. But I would add, don't forget to stop and smell the roses from time to time. My one big piece of advice comes in two parts. Uh, part A, don't be afraid to make mistakes on the path of life, as long as you follow part B, which is you must learn from your mistakes. 
This is what so separates the educated from the eternally ignorant. And I urge you, learn from everything that you can. If you don't learn, then your actions, or if you don't learn from your actions, then you are doomed to repeat the mistakes of your past. I'm gonna finish my speech with an anecdote from my dad. Whenever I would leave the house, he would tell me, don't embarrass me today. <laughs> this group of four words, <laughs> this group of four words carried such weight with me. He would say it with a little grin on his face, but I knew that he meant everything and all that they represent. Um, it had a semblance of humor, but I knew he meant it. For every action is a reflection on your family and your upbringing. Because of the role that I and the rest of the staff here have played in your upbringing, I say to you, don't embarrass us. <laughs> Thank you. I'm short. I am now honored to present to family and friends the graduating class of 2011. Dr. Harder, I present to you the seniors of the class of 2011 in Hercules High. These students have met the requirements of the school board and the state of California. Now, by the authority vested in me from the state of California and the West Contra Costa Unified School District, I declare that these students seated before us have met all of the requirements of the state of California and the West Contra Costa Unified School District. And they are ready to receive their diplomas. Congratulations, class of 2011. Testing. Shayna J. Suarez Alcaraz.
Tamra Lene Allen. <laughs> Andy Olivier Anderson. <laughs> Lorenzo Anderson Jr. Teresa Pocky Ponchon and the Hall. Bien Balcarce. Melvin Bannigan. Christian Barillas. <laughs> Trinice Nicole Bates. <laughs> Banpreet Bahamra. Jadeep Singh Bhatia. <laughs> Gabriella Christina Blanco. <laughs> Nicole Mendoza Bonifacio. David Breen. <laughs> Jenna Isabel Buffum. <laughs> Sabrina Ashley Bustos. Janie Rose Kevin Sutomu Chisaki. <laughs> Serena Curtis. Veronica Anna Baptista Dianza.
Jasmine Renee Dillon. Jennifer Nockdown. Remy Nicole Downs. Christian Bubba Inano Ponce. Sean Lu Espeke. Anthony Felix. <laughs> Justin Fernandez. <laughs> Stephen D. First. <laughs> Juliana Pearl Fisher. <laughs> Cornelius Neil Flinchoy. Jalen Ajene Freeman. <laughs> Raynalyn Prado Gakayan. Paolo Jean Garcia. Soman Paul Singh Gill. Christopher Eric Gilman. <laughs> Aldo Leonardo Gomez. <laughs> Charles Delas Gilman. Ashley Gonzalez. Reyes 
Shanice Harris. Sabra Nicole Harvey. Anthony Dupree Hayes Pierre. Martel A. Haynes. Tamia Renee Head. Brian Hefley. Christian Alexander Hernandez. Courtney Nicole Hicks. Shelby Ann Johnson. Sharnice Marie Jones. Mark James Lashiga. <laughs> Rajan Lal <laughs> Marcus Alexander Lampley Marie Lacoste. Lorena Ledesma. Jocelyn Amanda Lau. Giselle Catherine Layden Arma. Dejour M. Legrand. Patricia Elaine Alvarez. Oh no, we're like, 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 we're like
Simran G. Bhatia. Leah Rachel Comilas Bokia. David Sinchia Catherine Leanne Crippen. Gina Fong. Melissa! My. <laughs> Kevin Peter Verongan Jesuit. <laughs> Andrew Vento Gabriel. Christopher O'Day Havash. <laughs> Gregory Daniel Heron. Jothamara Gason.
Fiona Suquan Man. Chelsea Mariana. Brenda Joanna Mendoza Garcia. <laughs> Jocelyn Mercurio May. Jatinder Ray. <laughs> Jennifer Reed. Jennifer, yeah. 
Lucio Atienza. thing to do everybody grab your tassel put them to the right to the right 